Um, if you were with us last week in Fort Lauderdale, I want to give you a big hug because the energy in that room was absolutely amazing. I thank you for being a part of that. If you were there, could you do me a favor and just type your favorite takeaway in the chat box? I see Kathy said it was awesome. I know a lot of people, Barb, big hug to you. Um, I don't want to just create FOMO for the people that were not there, right? That's, that's not the point of this because I know a lot of people were messaging me during the weekend saying, oh, I wish I was there. I couldn't be there. I wish I was there. Um, so part of the reason why I wanted to do this tonight was give everybody that wasn't there an update. But I do see that there's a lot of people who were there with us that want a refresher or want to be able to recap it. And so I'm going to be sharing a ton of information with you tonight. We're going to be on for about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, not too much longer. But guys, I want to share with you, there were so many magic moments at the weekend. It's going to be impossible for me to translate everything that we experienced there to you. I'm going to do my best to give you the basics. I'm going to do my best to do what I can to show you what was covered so that you know what to expect for next time. But also I want to give you things that you can implement into your business today. I, I, I see that Mike wrote hearing JR's voice. Uh, you know, this was our first event without our visionary leader, founder of Market America and the parent company of Nutrimetrics, uh, JR Reidinger. You know, it was the first time that we didn't have him with us there in person. But I have to tell you, you know, it, losing JR was a huge loss for the entire company, for everybody that ever met him. Um, but I do feel so fortunate that usually when you lose somebody that means a lot to you, usually when you lose somebody that is a mentor and a friend and a family member, you have pictures and your memories. Um, with JR, we have this unbelievable library of hundreds, if not thousands of hours of him training. And we're so blessed to have that because JR was actually incorporated pretty much into every single segment of the weekend. And so we were learning from him as if he were there. In fact, I think we saw more of JR at this past event than any other event, because usually he would do one or two segments a day for us and his big close. But at this particular event, we've literally had the spirit and the voice and the teachings of JR in every single presentation. And so what I want to share with you is if you weren't there and you are an unfranchised owner, I know from the uh, questions that I asked on the registration form tonight, I know some of you are not unfranchised owners yet, you're guests, and I want to welcome you here. Um, but somebody invited you here, right? And that person has access to our unfranchised back office. And in our unfranchised back office, if you go to the homepage and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, there's a section called Lessons from JR. And I'm going to encourage everybody to go into the section called Lessons from JR and watch some of those videos because uh, this man, JR Reidinger, meant so much to so many people because he really influenced a lot of people. He called himself a part-time brain surgeon and he would say, I operate on people's thinking. And I know for sure the very first time that I met JR Reidinger was back in August of 2003 at my very first international convention in Greensboro. And he certainly operated on my thinking that day. And from that day forward, I've thought about things differently. And I know a lot of you on this webinar tonight could say the same thing about JR. It only took watching him do one of his presentations and you learned to think about things differently. He had such an impact on people. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up my slides and you're going to see what I'm talking about here because the highlight of the event, this is actually the cover of the program. If somebody could just type in the chat, can you just see my slides? Just somebody let me know that you can... Uh, see my slides. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. The cover of the program was a whole bunch of pictures of JR and the whole, the whole way through the program, the whole way through the agenda were teachings of JR. Now, I, I want to give you some background on this for those of you who weren't there. Uh, if you've been with, the, with Market America for any period of time and you've been to any of our events, um, you know that JR had special themes that he talked about a lot, like the priming the pump of our business and filling our bean jars of possibilities and the nuts will rise to the top. And we don't want to be running on the hamster wheel. We need to get off the hamster wheel and do something different. These themes were carried throughout the entire training. Um, and that was on purpose. Be before JR left us in August, 
Uh, he had sat down with his leadership team, the executive team, the sales team, and he shared his vision for a new event, which is actually going back to the basics. And the leadership school format was on different, was very different and planned different from the beginning, even before JR left us, because he wanted us to go back to the basics. So you're going to see, as I go through some of the things that were covered, some of the stuff you've heard before, because guess what it is? It's the basic five. I mean, the basic five is really the premise of building an unfranchised business, whether you major in Nutrimetrics. And for those of you that don't know me, I guess I should start by introducing myself. My name is Brandy Murphy. I'm the director of training and field development of Nutrimetrics, which is just one division of this larger company called Market America. And so I'm going to be giving the spin today on the update from the perspective of a Nutrimetrics consultant and potentially for the health professionals that are joining us today. But no matter which division in the company, whether it's our skincare and cosmetics division, whether it's our financial services division through Shop Financial and Debt Shredder, whether it's through our web services program with web centers, whether it's through health and nutrition, no matter what your focus is, all of us focus on the same core components of the business, which are called the basic five. Basic five revolves around attitude and knowledge. It revolves around setting goals for yourself. It, it revolves around retailing. It revolves around uh, prospecting, recruiting, and sponsoring, which is basically expanding distribution by working with other unfranchised owners, and then follow-up. And the follow-up is with either new unfranchised owners and your team members or your customers. So the basic five was woven through the entire agenda. And some of the concepts, like I mentioned, you will have heard before. Some of them are going to be new for you. I'm going to share with you some additional tools. So with that, let me show you what we're going to talk about tonight. Some of it I'm going to go into more detail than others, but we're going to talk about developing your why and the importance of that. We're gonna talk about qualifying and quantifying your goals and what that means. We're gonna talk a little bit about leadership. That was the focus of this particular event. It wasn't as much of the fanfare and you know the big stage productions that we have at our international convention and our previous world conferences. This leadership school was really focused on taking unfranchised owners, whether they've been with us for a while or whether they're brand new, through the actionable steps and workshops. And I'm gonna show you some of the tools that were given to us so that you can get them from your team members and you can do this yourself now on your own time. But we're gonna talk about what those tools were. And so this part is all about attitude and knowledge, goals and goal setting. Right there, you can see the basic five. Then we're gonna get into retailing. We're gonna talk about, you know, building possibilities, which is part of the prospecting, recruiting and sponsoring. And then we're gonna talk about some of the challenges and action steps that you can take over the next six months between now and our next event, which guys, they changed the name of International Convention. We used to call it MAIC. It's still called International Convention, but now the nickname for it is ICON. And how brilliant is that? I want to give a high five to whoever came up with that idea. And I feel like, why haven't we been using that for a long time? Because that that icon name is just so powerful. Um, I totally love it. I, I agree, Tammy. So we're going to talk about what can you do between now and icon in August to take your business to the next level. Now, each and every single person, oh, Jane asked the question, is this being recorded? It is, yes. Uh, so if you want, I'm going to share this recording in the Facebook group and on my personal page, if you want to be able to share it with other people after this event, if they couldn't uh, join us. And it is being streamed in the Facebook group right now. So I have Facebook up over here, uh, just to make sure that it's streaming properly. And it looks like it is. Okay, so when we went to the event, we were given, this is the first time we were given such a large packet of information. And the reason why I want to share this with you is because all of you, um, Barb, the Nutrimetrics Facebook page, uh, it should be in the official, yeah, there it is. All of you have people that you know on your team or people that you have access to on your team who were there. Although the, the a lot of people were there, not everybody was there, but a lot of people were there. And so everybody was given this big packet and anybody that got the printed packet also got an electronic packet of these tools and they should be able to share them with you. So if you're on tonight and you haven't seen these yet, I'm gonna encourage you to take action. And, why don't you get out a piece of paper right now and you're going to create a to-do list for yourself as you're taking notes and as we're going through this. I'm going to give you some to-dos. Just star those so that you remember to do them. Reach out to your senior business partner. Don't rely on them to reach out to you. 
be the person. This is all about leadership. This was a leadership school. And each and every one of us needs to step into a leadership role. Even if we are not feeling like we're a leader yet, we can make the choice to choose to be a leader. And a leader is someone who steps up and does what it takes to make things happen. You all have leaders that are in your senior organization. They may or may not know who you are. But how cool would it be if they got a message from you? Do you want to, you want to stand out to get help? If they got a message from you saying, I would love to have a, a call with you where we could talk about some of the handouts and worksheets. Can I get access to those from leadership school? And I guarantee you, no leader is going to be upset about one of their business partners reaching out to them and asking them for help. So if you have not seen this stuff yet, um, you're going to want to make sure that you reach out to a leader on your team and ask to set up a time where you can do some workshopping with them. And they're going to be happy to do that with you. Okay. So the first thing that they talked about, a, a theme throughout the entire weekend was really, why are you here? And, and what I don't mean here on the Zoom tonight. I mean, why did you open your business? What is it that you wanted to achieve when you started, when you started your account, right? And for some of us, we just loved the products. We weren't really sure if we wanted to build a business. Some of us knew right from the beginning that we wanted to build a business and knew exactly what we wanted. Not everybody's clear on what they wanted. Some people just saw something that they liked and said, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. I want to try it. Uh, some people knew exactly. So if you're not clear on your why now, I'm going to ask you to start thinking about what is it that you want to create? And it's not about things. A lot of times people think it's about things. They might say, oh, I want a new car. Well, guess what? If you have a car that can get you from point A to point B, having a brand new car in most cases for most people is not going to drive them to take a lot of action. It's a nice to have, but not a need to have. But a why that makes you cry, you'll see that right here up on the screen. My why, what makes you cry is, you know, creating a legacy for your family, being there for your children or your grandchildren, being able to be at your grandchildren's wedding and create a legacy for them. These are the types of things that when you think about them, you get goosebumps. Uh, being able to create the kind of life for your kids if you have kids that you want, or being able to travel and experience the world on your terms. These are the types of things that give people goosebumps, and these are the types of things that make you to want to take action. Now, I'm going to share with you a tip. This is not from leadership school, but I want you to think about this now. This is just part of my own goal setting workshop. If you struggle with coming up with your why or what goals you want to create, I want you to create a what I don't want list. What that means is I, I call it an anti-goal list. A lot of times we have a much easier time knowing what we don't want versus what we do want, right? Um, maybe you don't want to have to wake up to an alarm clock anymore. J.R. Ridinger used to close out every single presentation, every big event by smashing an alarm clock because when he and Lauren were first getting started, he hated having to get up to the alarm clock. That alarm clock controlled his life. So they do a, a, a thing every year where they smash an alarm clock because they don't want the alarm clock to run their lives. It started with what you don't want to create what you do, okay? Maybe you love your job and you don't want to leave it. It's all that's, this is different for every person. So don't just go by what I say. Think about what you don't want. Maybe you don't want to have to ask permission to take vacations. Maybe you don't want to have to live in the town where you live right now. Create the list of what you don't want and then reverse it to create the list that you do. And when you're creating your goals, think about it in all areas of life. So they handed out something called the wheel of life. And this is, you know, what's most important to you? What are the, the top four areas where you want to focus on growing? Is it in creativity? Is it in finances? Is it your career, your education, health, physical activity? Do you want to be able to cook more at home? Do you want to have a better home environment, better relationships, better social life, more joy in your life, more spirituality in your life. This wheel makes up our life. And we all want something in all of these areas. So keep these areas in mind when you're creating your goal list. But we need a place to start. So you're going to prioritize. You're going to prioritize. I'm all tongue twisted. I've been talking a lot over the past week. <laughs> You're going to prioritize the areas that mean the most to you right now. 
and you're going to put them down on this, this worksheet. And then you're going to take one of these wants lists for each one of them, wherever, whatever it is that you want to have first. In this particular example, I'm going to use finances. Well, what do you want to create in your financial world? Why do you want to create it? What does that look like for you? And when do you want to create it by? These are some of the things that we talked about. And I'm going through this super fast with you, right? But each one of these workshops or worksheets that I'm showing you tonight uh, was a whole workshop where we talked about it and we, we put people into small groups and people sat at their seats and they filled them out while we were talking through it. And some of the sales team members were walking around, that myself and Dr. Tamara and Dr. Mason and Jason Pellin, we were walking around and helping people that needed help. This is a very different format. It was not just people standing on a big stage and talking at you. It was an interactive type event where the, the people on stage were giving assignments People had handouts at their desk and they were working through it during the entire process. So I'm giving you the cliff notes of it tonight. And just like, you know, if I saw a great movie and I came back to you and I gave you a synopsis of the movie, you would never get the full impact of the movie until you watch it yourself, right? So going through these exercises, you're not gonna have time to do it with me tonight, but you wanna make sure that you schedule time to do it. So for each of your top four, what do you want? Why do you want it? What do you need? What does that look like to you? And when do you want it by? So using the example of finances, why? To reduce stress, to retain more income, to leverage potential opportunities. What does that mean? Well, it means I need a secondary source of income. I need to create a plan for eliminating debt. I need to identify what we can do without. I need to evaluate how I'm going to use my discretionary time. And does it support what I want? What do I mean by that? Well, you know, a lot of people spend a lot of time binge watching TV. Binge watching TV is not going to do anything to get you towards your financial goals. So instead of binge watching TV, maybe work on something that will help create income for you, like creating new customers, like potentially exposing the business plan to other people and think about when you want it. Um, so uh, Mariana asked the question, is there a way to get the paperwork if you had tickets? Uh, everybody that had tickets assigned to them should have gotten an email with the worksheets in them, even if they weren't there. So if you were on and you had tickets, um, the, check your email for about a week before the event and they should be in your, in your email. So then you're going to look at taking your goals that you're going to create for yourself and you're going to prioritize which of those goals are one to three year goals, which are three to five year goals, which are five to seven year goals, and then what are your long term goals. Okay, and so depending on what your goals are, some of them are going to take less time, some of them are going to take more time. And it's all going to depend on how much those goals cost. So you need to know exactly what your goals cost. Uh, that means you're going to do a little bit of research. So for example, using the car example, if you want a new car, go car shopping and find out what the car is that you want. Take it for a test drive, figure out what the monthly payments would be, figure out what your down payment would be. And then once you have the financial number, now you can put that on and say, okay, here's what I think I can generate in a certain amount of time to be able to, or to purchase that. I'm gonna show you another tool that will help you with the timing of it in a few minutes. Um, but maybe your goal is something different. Like maybe you want a specific vacation. Actually go online and shop for that vacation and see what it would cost you so that you can put it on here and plan out when it's going to be. So you're going to list out what do you want, picking your top four from the, the wheel of life, and you're going to plan out when do I want it. We're helping you formulate what your goals are going to be. And then this is really important. We're going to qualify which of those goals are going to work more for you. And so you have to answer these questions. No ifs, ands, or buts. The only options are yes or no. So once you list out your goals, do I believe this is possible for me to achieve? I love how the me is capitalized because a lot of times we'll see other people achieve things and we think they're just lucky, right? And we need to get rid of our limiting beliefs. It's all about reprogramming our mind. We need to get rid of our limiting beliefs that tell us that I can't have that. So if we're sitting down and we're qualifying the goal and this says, do I believe this is possible for me to achieve? And a no or a hesitation comes up, then we need to make sure that we're working on reprogramming our mind because there's some sort of limiting belief in there that's making it so we don't believe it. Do I have a strong desire to achieve this? If you don't have a strong desire to achieve it, it's not the right thing to put on your list, right? You're putting it there probably because somebody's asking you to create the list and you need to keep digging, go deeper and deeper and deeper with your wants until you find the wants that you have a strong desire to achieve. Is the timing right? Well, we're gonna talk about what the timing is gonna look like because some of you might have super busy schedules right now. 
right? J.R. Ridinger would say, then these are the people, the people that are the busiest are the people that need this the most. It's also about time freedom. And a lot of people, the hamster wheel demonstration that J.R. would do all the time is people, the more money they make, the more they have to work. And they get stuck on that treadmill because the more money they make and the more they have to work, the more expensive their lifestyle becomes. And now they're stuck on the treadmill. And so the Market America unfranchised system is an escape from the treadmill because you're using leverage by building a team. It's not just based on your timing. It's about building a team and the team's timing all working together. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that. Am I ready to invest the time and resources needed to achieve this goal? Be honest with yourself about that. If you weren't at this event, you maybe had a really good reason to not be at this event, right? But we have another one in six months. Start planning now to get there because if you felt any of that FOMO uh, and going through this, if you're thinking, man, I wish I was there, that's fear of missing out. That's telling you maybe you should be there. And so whatever kept you from going there this time, let's just put a plan in place. We can't, we can't change the past, but we can put a plan in place to make sure that we can get to the next one so we don't feel that next time, okay? So you're gonna make sure that you go through the qualifying goals thing. And then they showed you how to quantify your goals. So thinking about that, once we have the cost of what each goal is, what will I do to achieve this goal? What, what are my daily disciplines that I need to have? How much money do I need to save or to raise? What new skills do I need to learn? What other resources do I need? What associations or relationships do I need to cultivate? What will a day in my life look like? What obstacles do I need to come? Are there financial obstacles? Are there scheduling obstacles? Are there emotional or limiting belief obstacles? Are there negative relationships? We need to go through and quantify that for each one of the goals on the list. Okay. And then we can start ranking them in order. And I hope that you're going to see this video or you're going to see a demonstration of this and um, the near future. Kevin Buckman, who is the master, and Andrew Chi did a phenomenal job of putting together the goal calculator. So I'm showing you some of my screenshots because, you know, we don't get all the slides from the event, but I like to take a lot of pictures at the event. And so what I'm showing you are actually the pictures of the slides that I found super valuable and I wanted to be able to share with people. I always take pictures of the slides when I'm there. So you can rank your goal in terms of total costs, right? How many months of contribution are going to be required to get there? And what's your priority? So what they actually did is they had people put their priority down first. They had people put the cost down and they ranked them in order. And then they were, I'm not going to walk you through this, but you'll be able to see this in the future. They actually went through and showed you the compounding effect of as your team grows and you're earning commission checks, how you can apply those commission checks towards your goal. And you can almost create, think of it in, in terms of, you probably heard of something called the debt snowball effect. And the debt snowball effect is if, if you list out all of your debts, right? And you put the smallest payment first, and then you pay that off. And then you, pay, you apply that plus the next one to the next one. And you plot, pay that off apply that payment and the next payment to the next one. You start to build this bigger snowball where the amount that you apply to each debt increases the more you pay things off. Well, the same concept is applicable here where as your commissions are growing, you start applying your commissions to your goals. And as you achieve some, those commissions then get applied to the next goal so that you go the whole way down and you cross off all the things on your list until you have them. So you'll see, and they did a really great walk through it. It took them a, a good amount of time to go through and explain how they figured out all the pricing, how they figured out how to prioritize it, how they figured out which order to put it in and which order to apply the commissions to, to be able to cross as many things off of their goal list as possible. But this all starts with us having a goal list. And I'm just going to ask the question right now, and I'd love to see it in the chat. I have the chat up in front of me. How many of you have a new goal statement that you wrote this year already in terms of what you can create through your business and you wrote it in the past tense from once you've already achieved them? Have you done that? So I see some have. I see some have. I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot that haven't because we have a lot of brand new people on here. Don't beat yourself up if you haven't done it yet, but this is one of the things that we wanna make sure that we're working on, that we have a crystal clear goal statement uh, that we can read multiple times per day, that we can record ourselves saying multiple times a day, and that we can create a goal, I mean, a vision board 
around or a dream board around as well. I just saw a comment and I totally love it. I just want to go back to it. It was, you know, there's a lot of you scrolling fast. Um, somebody wrote, where did I see it? Uh, we need a new goal statement. Yes, but changing now. Mary wrote that. I love that because one of the things that I share with people when I'm doing the goal setting workshops in the Nutrimetrics training is I tell people most of the time when we create our initial goal statement, we're doing it from what we believe is possible right now. But we need to expand what we think is possible because usually we're looking through glasses or goggles that are colored by our limiting beliefs from our past. So we're creating goal statements from our past experience. And when we go to an event like this and we see more people being successful and we're given an action plan of exactly how to get there, all of a sudden our mind and our possibilities expand. And once a mind expands, it can't shrink back to its previous size, right? So we need to expand what we think is possible for ourselves. And we every time we do that, Every time we level up what we think is possible for ourselves, it's time to rewrite those goals. And so if you haven't rewritten your goals, I'm going to encourage you to do that. There's a couple of examples that they shared from stage. I love this one from Beth and Pitt Black. It feels so amazing to have no debt. 2023 was a great year. Our unfranchised business had a banner year because of growth within our organization, and it was so consistent. The right side of our organization showed consistent weekly growth through 2023, now averaging 7,000 BV per week. We're so proud of the leaders who have developed, we've developed since leadership school 2023. The left side of our organization is maintaining 5,000 BV a week without our personal BV, which is a huge step. We are so proud to have 50 partners attend international convention in Greensboro. It felt so good to hit challenges at both corporate events. In November, we hosted our first Southeast Regional Convention in Tampa. There were over 300 people in attendance. 10% were guests. The Southeast region is on fire. We learned so much that so we can't wait to host our second event and to implement some new ideas. Mark was able to come and speak and did an amazing job. What's funny about this, that was projecting into the future when they wrote this, Mark had not agreed to speak at the event yet. And he read this when they sent it in and he goes, done. You just spoke it into, ex into existence and I will be at your regional as a speaker. Beth and I celebrated 38 years of marriage in August and incredibly we achieved executive supervising coordinator income during our anniversary week. It was a great gift to give each other. We are well on our way to hitting director. Beautiful goal statement has in the BV that they want, has in the number of partners attending events they want. It's very detailed. And when they read this to themselves multiple times a day and they listen to audios where it's constantly programming their mind, right? their mind becomes a cybernetic missile that is going to go working towards these goals. Beautifully, beautifully done. Allison Abbott, a professional coordinator, shared this one, which is also awesome. It's October 2025. I'll be 45 years young. My 001 will be producing 3,600 in supplemental income every week. My 002 will be producing 2,400 per week. I'm so blessed to be helping others on a daily basis to become successful entrepreneurs. I've developed 10 leaders and we bring an incredible team of 400 people to company events. I'm fulfilled by the work I'm doing with Market America and the impact I'm having on other people's lives. I continue to connect with the team and community on social media daily. And I truly have fun with it. If it's not fun. It's not worth doing guys. I love the freedom that my market America business brings to every aspect of my life, time, freedom, health, and abundant prosperity. So here are some examples for you. If you haven't done them, go ahead. And when you get a chance, fill out your goal statement, create a dream board that matches it. And then once you have your goals, you're also going to see how to break them down into daily, weekly, and monthly goals. So this is in the getting started guide. If you haven't gone through the getting started guide yet, um, you have that in the back office and downloads and the support materials. They did give everybody a new copy of the getting started guide. And they did a, an example from stage where um, Jim and Andrew, Jim Winkler and Andrew Weissman sat down with a new unfranchise owner, it was actually a professional coordinator, but they pretended to be a new unfranchise owner. And they walked through, how do you take a brand new unfranchise owner through the Getting Started Guide and sit down with them to show them how to create their goal statement and how to create their daily, weekly, and monthly action plan, All right? So then they shared some examples of what those action plans look like. So Alex Cummings wrote, I want to post on social media to my story on Instagram with links to promote products every day. I want to listen to an audio for 10 minutes while I'm doing my makeup. Um, Mark Ashley did a whole segment on collapsing time by bundling things together. We all have to get ready. 
So why not listen to audios or have videos playing that we can be learning while we're getting ready, while we're driving in our car, while we're doing dishes, while we're folding laundry, while we're doing these things that have to get done, why not be feeding our mind with the things that we need to learn to grow our business? Talking to one to three people per day about product or business. Also, you can be, you know, I was at baseball practice last night with my son and I was using my app to send messages to my customers while I was sitting there. Only took me a couple of seconds. I had to be at baseball anyway. I have the app in my phone. Why not take the time to grow my customer base and follow up with customers at that time? Um, weekly, I need to share a minimum of two business plans per week, follow up with prospects, clients during follow up. Again, the app can help you do that. Plan one Zoom with business partners with a minimum of one person showing my site, teaching them how to shop and save on shop.com. Do a coring with the team. Distance doesn't matter. Zoom makes it so we can be everywhere. Target 400 BV a week, give away three samples. And if I do that, that means monthly I'll have shown eight business plans. I'll have retailed 1600 BV. If I do more, it's better. I'll have sponsored one person and I will have attended one training as well as done an event in my house on Zoom. So we need to just take a look at what are our goals, then use the getting started guide to formulate a plan to get us to those goals by taking daily steps that are small. When we do the daily steps, we automatically get to the weekly steps and then we automatically get to our monthly steps. When we automatically get to our monthly steps, then we automatically get to the yearly steps. But it starts with us envisioning our goals. Write out that goal statement, create a, a dream or vision board, sit down and review it twice a day. I love the idea of recording an audio statement, reading it to yourself in your first person that you've already achieved it and sit down in front of your vision board and listen to it kind of like a little bit of a relaxation guided meditation as you're looking at your vision board and you're experiencing each of those things. Take the car for a test drive, go visit the neighborhood, right? If you've created one of, one of my goals is to have a, whole, a, a equine sanctuary, right? Where I love horses. I have horses. I love seeing people that rescue horses and I'd love to have a horse rescue. So one of the goals that I'm working towards is to have a horse rescue of my own. So read the testimonials as if somebody is on your website talking about your nonprofit. The more that you can engage with it with your senses, the better. Okay. So again, if you need to learn more about that, even if you weren't there this weekend or you were in the unfranchised back office, there's a learning center where there's information on how to create your goals, how to define your why, and then how to break down your action plan. So we have these tools available for you all over the place, right? Then we get into the leadership concept. And I love this quote from Amber, shared it with us from Vince Lombardi. Leaders are not born, they are made. And they're made just like anything else through hard work. And that's the price we all have to pay to achieve that or any other goal, right? So Amber's an incredible leader. One of the really cool things about this event is they used uh, speakers that were the best at what they do from no matter what country they're from. We love Amber from New York, Team Flushadelphia, Team Flushing. Right. And she she gave a really power present powerful presentation on leadership. And then Kevin came back up and he talked about leadership versus management. Our pay plan is based on managing a team of people, but we also need to have leadership skills. So a leader is somebody that can guide, inspire, and influence a group of people to achieve a common goal. But we don't want to get stuck on micromanaging people, right? We want to create leaders on our team so we can provide the organization and the planning. We can provide the resources for our team, but we also need to develop our team members into being leaders for themselves. So Kevin did a really great segment. And in fact, um, he and I did a segment on this together back in December. It was right before Christmas. And we, we some of these slides were right out of the same presentation that we gave then. So if you missed that, you could go onto the Market America YouTube channel, go back through the 53 challenge Zooms to the December one on leadership with Kevin and I, and you'll see some of this. Now, he put a different spin on it at leadership school, but we talked about in order to lead a team, you need to know what kind of leader you are, and you need to be able to recognize 
where people are in their leadership style. So there's four basic types of leaders. There's the enthusiastic beginner. That's the person that is brand new and excited and they're just gonna go out and do it even if they don't know if they're doing it right, right? And then they become a little disillusioned as a disillusioned learner because once they have a little bit of experience of doing things wrong, then they take a step back and they're like, I'm still excited, I'm still enthusiastic, but I'm a little bit hesitant because I don't wanna mess it up, right? And then at some point they become capable, but cautious. They start figuring it out. They know what they're supposed to be doing. They're doing it, but they're still a little bit afraid to make a mistake. So they might be a little cautious. And then eventually they become a self-reliant achiever. And we all ebb and flow into these different roles. So in the beginning, we started as an enthusiastic beginner. We got some success. We might've dropped back into an enthusiastic beginner. We might've gotten more success and become capable shifted back a little bit. And so it's this constant ebb and flow, but we need to know where we are so that we know where, how to help guide people as well. So like I said, we, we have a video on the YouTube channel for Market America that has that. And we also started talking about, okay, when you're going to lead people, the people have to come from somewhere. So where are these people going to come from? Well, we're going to create our possibilities list by sitting down and thinking about all the people that we know. And they gave us some tools that will help us do that, some memory joggers. So if you think about your relationships, you have relationships with people, many, many, many more people than what you're thinking about, right? I just sounded like Captain Schmeg in the movie Home. <laughs> you guys, many, 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 many more. That just popped into my head, so had to share it. But we all know people that we're not thinking about when we sit down to write down our possibilities list. So what you think about, use these little memory joggers. Who do you know that are close friends? Who do you know that are family members? Who do you know that you talk to every day or all the time that you hang out with often? You're gonna write their names down on a list. That doesn't mean that you're gonna recruit them. That doesn't mean that you are going to call them right away and say, you need to do this business. That's not what this is about. You're gonna create a list of possibilities. People that would help evaluate the business for you, not necessarily for them, but to lead you to people they know that might be interested in the business. But also these might be people that are good fits for some of our products. So you're not gonna judge, oh, this person's gonna be a customer and this person's gonna be uh, somebody, a referral, and this person's going to be a, a business partner. You're just gonna put their name down on the list, okay? Who are close old friends? Think about the people that you haven't talked to in a long time, but when you get together with them, you, you pick right back up where you left off, right? You know them very well. Maybe they're people that you went to college with or high school with, and you haven't seen them in 5, 10, 15, 20 years, but you knew a lot about them back then, and it would be easy for you to reconnect with. Who are your coworkers? Who are the people you see at work every day, but you smile at them, you don't really talk a lot? Who are the people that are professional level? You know them on a professional level. Maybe they, they work with a company that your company works with, but you don't really know them personally or you don't know anything about their families or their interests. And then who are the people you see at the bank? If you go to the bank, my banking is all online, but you know, I go to the tax shop and I go to the feed store and I go to the grocery store and I go to the post office and you see similar people at those places all the time. I go to the UPS store to pick things up. I see the same guy there all the time. My kids like pizza. We go to the pizza place. The same guy is there all the time. I don't know him, but I see them all the time, right? Who, who do you know that you're friendly and casual with? You don't know a lot about them personally, but they're on this list, right? Who did you meet on Facebook? We all have people that we've connected with on social media that we never met in person, but we comment on their posts and they comment on our posts and we, we are, share an interest in something. Maybe they're in a Facebook group with them. Maybe we like and we follow them. We've never met them before, spoke to them, but there's somebody we know and we could put them down on the list. So you're going to create that list. And then you're going to use this uh, possibilities form to put down as much as you know about them, because the more you know about them, the more it will help them rise to the top. JR does this example of putting beans in a jar and shaking it up and the nuts are the ones that rise to the top. All of the people on your list are just beans. They may become nuts. We don't know, but we're just going to put them down the list. Some of them we might put in a pile to talk to about product. Some of them we might put in a pile to talk about, you know, do you know somebody that you could introduce me to that might be good through the evaluation approach? And some of them, you might be very direct with them and say, I would love to have you in my business. You're perfect for this business. And you're going to talk to them with a direct approach. So you don't start by judging them. You start by putting them on the list, filling out the form about them. And then um, if those of you that have been to an NC training, we talk a lot about personality profiling and we talk about why it's important. We talk about knowing 
what our sales personality is so that we know how to match and mirror what we're sharing with other people, right? So we talk about, uh, in terms of the NC training, we talk about the DISC profile, which stands D is the dominant personality type, blue is the influential personality type, yellow is the steady personality type, and green is the compliant or conscientious personality type. So it's a little out of order here because this is a different format, but it matches up with the DISC personality profiling profiling really well. When you think about somebody that is red, this is a dominant driver person. They're going to be very big picture. We're not going to share a whole lot of details with them unless they ask for it. We're going to keep everything big picture and fast. These types of people, you're going to be bright. You're going to be quick. You're going to be gone when you're talking to them, right? So you want to be able to just give them enough information to be interest, interested, and then you book to something else. Somebody that's in the influential or blue column, these are the inspiring people. They're very fast talkers. They can be showy. They're social butterflies. They love to have fun. They're very chatty. They'll tell you their whole life story. If you haven't figured this out, this is me. I wear bright clothes all the time. I tell way too many stories. I'm an open book. I share my whole life story with people when I'm talking to them. So I have to be cognizant of that because I can make a conversation that I ask for 15 minutes for turn into an hour very quickly. And I have to be aware that they may not have an hour to give me at that particular time. Somebody that is green here, right? They're compliant, they're conscientious, they're organized. They love the facts and figures. So when I'm talking, let's say about product with them, I'm gonna have to really go into detail about why this ingredient versus that ingredient. I might have to do a price comparison or a competitive analysis against another product. But if I tried to do that with a person over here in the red category, I'm nails on a chalkboard to them. They don't wanna hear that. They're just, give me the bottom line. Why do I want it? Blue, blue to uh, Christine, you're blue too. Um, and the yellow people, they, they're steady, they're stable, they love to help people, they're very caring and nurturing, and they support everybody. And so being able to recognize where somebody falls on either the color scale here or on the DISC personality profile, or there's so many different ways that there's so many different personality profiling tools that you can use, just helps you know how to match them with the type of information they need to make a decision or to make a purchase or to take an action on something. So this is part of leadership is learning how to read people so that you can provide the proper tools for them. Okay. So we're, we're like going through a ton of information. I could turn all of this into a long training, but I don't want to keep you all night. So we're going to go into some of the other tools that were shared throughout the weekend that are going to help us. And now we're going to move a little bit into retailing. There's some new tools that are available to help you retail. And um, Dr. Mason and Dr. Leanne did a really great demo on the stage where they shared five or six product demos uh, to help really show the difference between our products and other products on the market. In the very near future, they're not there right now. If you go to look for them right now, there, there are going to be handouts that show you how to do these product demonstrations, right? So you're gonna be able to find them in the back office. But where they are right now is you can actually go into the YouTube channel or the Unfranchised Marketing app, and you're going to see a section that says product demos. And you actually see video recorded. They did it in the lab. Uh, the demonstrations were done in short little videos that could be shared with your potential customers. One of them was super easy, right? It's Dr. Mason putting her hand in tap water in a cup. And while she's standing there talking, uh, the, Dr. Leanne is taking another cup of tap water and using a chlorine tester to show the amount of chlorine in the tap water. Then Dr. Mason pulls her hand out of the water and they test the water that Dr. Mason's hand was in it. And guess what was not there? No chlorine in the water that Dr. Mason just had her hand in. Why? Because Dr. Mason's skin absorbed the chlorine out of the water. It's a great little visual, great little talking point. Um, and then they put in to the water that had chlorine, some specks of OPC3, which is an antioxidant, which can help break down free radicals. So within a few seconds, the chlorine in the chlorinated water is neutralized. So you could use this conversation to talk about antioxidants. You could talk about water filters. You could talk about so many different things. It's a great little tool. Um, and they did one on digestive enzymes using pudding and using digestive enzymes to break down the pudding. They did one with the multivitamin or daily essentials to be able to show how our minerals are not uh, bound in solution and can be freed up to be utilized by the body. They did one on, that, that shows the bioavailability. They did one on fiber powder to be able to show how the fiber powder 
um, blend so easily in the water versus other ones that is very clumpy and doesn't blend. Really quick and easy videos that you can either share with somebody from the YouTube channel. I would actually prefer that you share them. This is my style, right? Use it through the phone with the unfranchised marketing app. Why? What's, what's different about sharing it from the unfranchised marketing app versus sharing it from YouTube is you can see if they clicked on it. You'll get a text message from the marketing app saying your customer has viewed your video, and then you can follow up with them right from the app. Uh, we also talked about hosting wellness parties, and Dr. Mason and Dr. Then shared some information about using the wellness questionnaires, things like the Nutrophysical, to be able to introduce new products. And then we had so many great presentations. There were scripts shared on how they get people to take the Nutrophysical by saying, I need your help, I'm in a challenge and I need five people to complete one quiz this week. There are five to choose from. By completing one of them, you help me out and receive a sample of your choice. Can I get your email so I can forward you the quiz links and you can choose one to complete for me? So easy, right? And then somebody fills out the Nutrophysical, it's gonna provide a result to them, and then you just introduce them to products. Uh, Pam Torgerson went up and did a great segment on conducting wellness 101s. Now for our health professionals that are following us, it doesn't have to be in your home, it could be in your practice where you're doing health seminars for your patients. And there's great tools shared, uh, scripts, thinking about how to invite people, I was thinking about you. I know the last time we were together, you were talking about a lot of head discomfort that you've been experiencing. I've attended a seminar and learned a little bit about some products that can support head discomfort. I know there's gonna be some information at the next one that would be able to help you. Would you want to attend with me, right? And then answering, asking a couple questions, like if I could change one thing about your health, what would it be? Would you want to sleep better, have more energy? What are you doing about that now? And how is it working for you? There were so many practical, simple tips that were shared to help people grow their business. As we talk about some of the other tools, the home shopping list that so many people use when they're working with a new unfranchise owner is now available in the unfranchise marketing app where it can be shared with potential contacts or potential partners, as well as with your customers. If you go into your unfranchise back office, there's a whole landing page on the home shopping list where you can learn about it. You can take your own, you know, a lot of times I find people will not share something that they haven't used themselves. So you should be taking the home shopping list so that you can see what it looks like, so you can experience it, and then you'll feel comfortable sharing it with others. And you have, if you actually scroll down to the bottom of this screen, which isn't, I'm not able to do that with a screenshot, there's more information about how to share it with your team, to get your team to use it. And once your team uses it, they're more likely to share it with your customers. So make sure you're using the home shopping list as well. You probably noticed if you've logged into your unfranchised back office in the last week, there's these banners across the top. One of them is for the Live Your Dash Challenge. One of them is for the Icon tickets. And then there's one on a Retail to Win contest. And we're going to talk about each one of these. Um, if you've been to one of our events before or watched some of our videos, we have a third-party speaker that comes to speak at our events. Uh, his name is Gary Brecka. He's a human biologist with over 20 years experience in biohacking and human performance. Gary has a really unique background because he used to work in the insurance industry and he was the guy that would look at people uh, through their lifestyle, through their insurance applications, and he would be able to predict almost to the day exactly when they were gonna die. He was able to predict their lifespan. And he left that industry because he knew that it was their lifestyles that were shortening their lifespan, but he wasn't allowed to give them advice to improve their lifespan. And he didn't want to do that anymore. He didn't want to just work for the insurance company. He wanted to move into performance medicine so he could help people expand their lifespan and not just expand it in length, but also expand it in quality of life. It's, it's about having a good quality of life for as long as possible. And Gary came up and talked about uh, vascular challenges. We have a very large surface area. If you were to expand all of our blood vessels and veins and all the vascular network, if you were expanded out, would cover a huge, 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 huge surface area. Um, and that is OPC3 and curcumin. So they're looking to detoxify, to restore blood cells, to complete health, to protect people throughout the day by giving them OPC3 in the morning and curcumin at night. And this one, two punch can help to restore the blood and lymphatic system back to balance. And the company, I've, in 20 years, I've never seen them do this type of retailing contest, but they're launching a retailing contest where if you order and sell the code, which is code 10VDC, 
um, you get entered into a contest. And there's a Nutrimetrics version as well. So the picture that I have up right now is the consumer version of OPC3 with the curcumin extreme. But we also have the Nutrimetrics version with the Nutrimetrics OPC3 and curcumin extreme. The code for that is 10BDCNM. But if you're using that code and you're ordering it and selling it, each time that you order and sell it, you're entered into the drawing. And the first place winner can win $5,000 cash, second place winner $3,000 cash, third place winner $2,000 cash. And there's another 20 people that will get up to $1,000 cash just by entering uh, to win by retailing this combo. So you're going to be seeing, they're going to be releasing the video at some point of Gary's presentation. It was a really powerful presentation uh, talking about the role of vascular health and being able to support people and some cardiovascular concerns that people might have. And then we went through and we talked about, I, I love this because what the company does, they actually ran reports on everybody that is moving some of the top products to find out what they're doing to move those products. And Alex Cummings was brought up to talk about the brand new uh, shopping annuity brand premium extra strength pain relief sprite. Now this is a Nutrimetrics focused audience, I believe. And so I just want to talk about this because in Nutrimetrics, we always talk about, we have to be careful when we're making pain claims because um, according to the FDA, only a drug can address pain. Well, this particular pain spray is actually marketed and approved as an OTC, meaning an over-the-counter medication. And so it has a drug facts on it because this one is not a supplement. It's an OTC. We can actually use the word pain when we're talking about it. I don't know if, if you've heard that or picked up on that before, because I know some of you may be like, Brandy, we're not allowed to talk about pain. This particular product is an OTC, so we can. So if you haven't used this, I'm going to encourage you to order this spray and to be able to share it with your clients. So it has menthol in it as well as some other oils, extracts, uh, plant extracts like peppermint and eucalyptus that are able to help cool down some of the pain. I see ordering there. I love that. Uh, quick dry formula soothes pain associated with low back pain, painful joints, arthritis, strains, bruises, sprains, muscular aches, and pains. So we want to make sure that we're aware of that as well. GluteQ was uh, introduced in the past. These are not brand new products, but what they wanted to be able to do is get back to the basics and focus on helping people retail some of our top products. You know, in GluteQ is an ingredient called quercetin. Quercetin was one of the most searched uh, nutrients or ingredients on the internet in the last two years. And so we have products with cutting edge ingredients. You want to make sure that you know how to retail them. So this has glutathione. It has quercetin. It's a great antioxidant blend. You want to make sure you're paying attention to that as well as magnesium, isotonics, magnesium, Julie Lancedo came up and talked about that, one of our nurse practitioners. I love that everybody on this stage right here is a Nutrimetrics person. We have Alex Cummings, who is an NC. We have Lisa, Lisa, who's one of our top HPs. We have uh, uh, Julie, one of our top HPs. We have Dr. Tamara, one of our faculty members and our director of education for health and nutrition. We have, that's basically all Nutrimetrics people on stage that we're talking about retailing the products. And so I think it's just a great reminder for us that we are a retail-based business and we need to use the products ourselves so that we know how to talk about them with people. Now, I mentioned also the what are you going to do with the dash challenge when I showed you the banner across the top of the page. This is something that is something JR would absolutely love. He loved 90-day accountability groups. So this is a 90-day uh, challenge where anytime between March 2nd and July 28th, you can pick any 90 days during that period to purchase your three tickets to the event. That only needs to be done once. You don't have to do that every 90 days. Personally, sponsor three unfranchised owners who are qualified and set up on auto ship create 3000 BV from personal use and create IBV respective of your market country's IBV criteria. So in the US, that would be 300 IBV and listen or watch one JR audio per week. There's a tracking system in your unfranchised back office that shows you where you are. So you can pay attention to that for your 90 day period. But I would encourage you to go for that. Uh, what are you going to do with the dash challenge and make sure that you get your tickets to icon. I'm going to talk about that again at the end. The tickets are available in your unfranchised back office. We also had Damon John come up and talk about uh, his belief in Market America. Damon John's not affiliated with Market America, but he knows JR and Lauren is very inspired by JR and Lauren. And he talked about when he's on Shark Tank, 
you know, one of the things that he would teach the people on Shark Tank would be in order to be successful, you don't need money. What you need is OPM. And a lot of people think about that as OP, other people's money, but it's also other people's mind, other people's marketing, other people's manufacturing. And Market America provides all of that for the unfranchised owners. You get the marketing department, you get you get all of the products already created for you. You get all of the relationships with the manufacturers already created for you. You get products handed to you so you don't have to create it. And you can get started for so little, for you know under $200, you can open your account and fully qualify for you know under $500, right? You open your account and be ready to go with a very little investment. And so Damon John got up there and he talked about how JR and Lauren created this model for everybody to be able to be successful. And then he talked about one of the things that he loves so much about JR and and Lauren is seeing their relationship. And he credited JR with helping him be a better uh, business citizen and a better husband and a better human being uh, because JR influenced so many people's lives. And I love, I just wanted to share this because it's a um, topic near and dear to my heart. So it's one of the pictures I shared too. He's launching a new book that's available on pre-order through one of our partner stores. So you scan the QR code. It's also available in the unfranchised back office, but it's a book on financial literacy for children. And that's a really great topic because we we don't do a great job in schools teaching kids or high schoolers about how to handle money or how to be an entrepreneur. Uh, so that I thought that was very cool. And then we're going to talk about two really new cool strategic partnerships. Um, the idea between these strategic partnerships is we can bring additional product lines without having to inventory. Mark Ashley shared these presentations and he was talking about digital assets. And um, one of the new partnerships that he's talking about, we don't um, have a total, we don't have the entire picture yet that's coming very soon, but it's a new partnership with a fitness coaching platform where they offer a 360 degree approach to improving your lifestyle through fitness. The company is called 54D. And they're dedicated to creating physically, mentally, and emotionally strong community through its training program. Now, this is not a video-based program. It was created by Rodrigo. Rodrigo came up and talked about it. Rodrigo is a former professional soccer player. He's a motivational speaker. Uh, he's been named one of the top fitness brands in the United States. He's been featured in a ton of literature. But Rodrigo created this app where you get online live coaching with a fitness coach. And it focuses on physical transformation, community support, discipline, a new lifestyle. And we're working on cre co-creating some things with them as well. They do have nutrition plans in there, but the nutrition plans are gonna be complimentary and, and, and be able to work well with our TLS program. But of course the fitness component is very complimentary to what we provide through TLS. They have a huge following of people and by us co-branding with them, not only will we be able to offer fitness coaching to our TLS and our health and nutrition clients, but we'll also be able to get our products in front of their people as well, which is very exciting. So it's a great way to create positivity by getting together with a group of people and working out, creating peak state, getting the right mindset. Um, and they teach leadership principles throughout their program as well. Now, I and apologize, some of the pictures are a little crooked because I was taking these while I was excited from my cell phone, from my seat. But this is a subscription-based service that retails for $99.95 when franchise cost is $85. So there's $14.95 um, in retail profit on it, as well as $25 BV per month. So as we introduce this, and think about that, no product to inventory, as you're introducing it to an add-on service to your health and nutrition clients or your TLS clients, it generates additional BV and retail profit for you every month. Now, the next one I'm super excited about in particular for our health professionals, but I think NCs could introduce this to all business types and all business owners that they know. Um, this is a partnership with another company that has successfully helped businesses across the U.S. receive over $4 billion in government programs. And um, what do I mean by government programs? Some of you probably heard during uh, the, the pandemic about businesses applying for the Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP. There's also a littler known or lesser known program called the ERC, which stands for the Employee Retention Credit. So we're partnering with a company called Bottom Line Concepts. And Josh Fox came up and talked about it. And he talked about there were so many businesses out there that had to shift gears. Even if they didn't decrease in revenue, they had to retool, they had to retrain, they had to go from in-person to 
uh, Zoom only or talking about restaurants as an example, they might've still been able to serve food, but it all had to be takeout or it had to be eaten outside. And just the impact of retooling and changing impacted businesses. And so as part of a government program through the um, employer retention credit, businesses can get a credit back. It's not a loan to help recoup some of the costs that they had lost in order to retain employees and be able to keep doing business during the pandemic. Uh, pretty much every business would qualify at bars, car washes, contractors, dry cleaners, food and beverage wholesalers, electricians, franchises, uh, gyms, healthcare providers, hotels, moving companies, restaurants, retailers, pretty much anyone. As long as they have five employees, not 1099 contractors, but employees up to 400, um, nine, 499 employees. And so we have this new partnership. This is live already where you can go into the unfranchised back office and learn about it. But kind of like what we do with the web center program, all you really have to do is connect your leads to their sales team and their sales team will close the sale for you. So they'll ask them a bunch of questions. They'll find out what they're qualified for. All you have to do is log into your unfranchised back office, go to the section that says ERC. I'll show you where it is in a second. Put your name and email address in and you'll get a referral link. You use that referral link to share it with business owners that you know that have between five and 499 employees. And the, the system, bottom line concepts, will do all the work to figure out if they qualify, figure out what they qualify for. And if they qualify, which most of them will, they will receive their checks from the IRS within three to five months. Now, when they receive their check, right? The, the amount of retail and BV through our partnership is pretty impressive. And so the average business gets about $250,000. That would be for a relatively small business because each employee, each employer can qualify for up to $26,000 per employee. So if they have 10 employees, it would be about $250,000 that they would qualify for. Of that, Bottom Line Concepts gets a 20% commission out of what they generate. Now, this is found money. It's money that they didn't know was coming to them, right? And so 20% is actually low for the industry. I talked to um, a couple of people who were working with, some of you may have heard of a company called Paychex, which is a big payroll company. Uh, Paychex has been doing this and they're offering, you know, they're offering these same types of services for 35%. So Bottom Line Concepts is asking 20%. That's a pretty big savings to, to save from 35 to 20%. But of the 50% that bottom line concepts get, the unfranchised owner that made the referral would get 4% retail profit. In this example, that would be $2,000 in retail profit. But they're also going to get 10% BV and for the first time ever, 10% IBV. This is the first time ever that we're offering BV and IBV on the exact same product. So with one average size business, it would be $2,000 in cash plus 5,000 BV, 5,000 IBV. And the company is going to let you place the, B the BV. You can spread it out in 2,500 uh, BV increments. So it's super, super exciting. If you get three referrals, you would generate just like that about $6,000 in cash, 15,000 BV and 15,000 IBV that again, you can spread out so that you're not going over the pay cycle on 5,000 and 5,000. Now, Eddie Alberti, our VP of Strategic Partnerships, and Josh Fox, the CEO of Bottom Line Concepts, is going to be doing a webinar on Tuesday. You can grab the QR code there or the bit.ly link and register for that Zoom. I'm going to encourage everybody to watch that because that's a, that's a big game changer, being able to generate that amount of BV and that amount of retail profit and IBV all at the same time. So you can learn more about that in the back office, but going to the business tab at the bottom is a new menu item called ERC program. There's a whole bunch of Q&A there. There's a section where you sign up for your referral there, but you can learn a lot about it and be able to invite your business owner contacts to schedule appointments. Again, what tons of new digital tools for you. Um, we have a new digital catalog, be able to send that out to people from the marketing app as well. We talked about the marketing app. There's some new unfranchise owner dashboards, uh, insights on the dashboard you could look at. We talked about the home shopping list online, lots of great new digital tools that you're going to want to pay attention to. And then other things that you can do, a couple of other tips that I wanted to share with you before we jump off for the night, starting March 2nd, which is past. So this is live now when new unfranchised owners open their account, um, instead of just getting cat, you know, it used to be, you could get cash back and you can only get IBV, um, new unfranchised owners 
will be opted into getting cash back and IBV. And all existing UFOs can now choose in your back office under account settings, whether when you shop from your partner stores, you would prefer increased IBV or cash back and IBV. So if, for example, if you're not eligible for commissions yet in the IBV pay plan, maybe you want to have cash back and IBV. So you're still accruing the IBV, but you get cash upfront. If you are participating, oh, somebody said, can I go back one side? Steven, you want me to go back one side? Oh, back, not forward, back. You wanted to be able to see that picture? Yeah, hopefully that was helpful for the new digital tools for you to get the QR code. But yeah, going back to the, um, the, the choice of wanting cash back or IBV as well. And then this one I'm so excited about because everybody's been asking me, when is the next NC training? When is the next NC training? When is the next NC training? Guys, in about a couple of weeks, I'm going to say by the end of this month, the next NC training is whenever you want the NC training because we're moving to a completely on-demand NC training format. What I mean by that is for the last three years, we've had a learning management system, which was available as a resource to you at no additional cost when you do attend an NC training to be able to go back in and dig through the material and see it when you want it. But now what we're doing is we're building a new area, it's almost done, where we have the entire NC training certification, but in shorter segments, because I don't want you to have to watch an hour at a time or 45 minutes at a time. They're all 15 minutes or less for, with the exception of a couple, because uh, some of them were so good from previous trainings. I want you to have the videos of that, but there are going to be little modules that you watch the module. After a couple of modules, you answer a few questions. Then you do another module or two and you answer a few questions. You do it at your own pace. And whenever you finish it, you are certified as an NC. This means if you have somebody brand new that starts, let's say April 15th and it's live, they can open up their um, on-demand certification program April 16th if they want to. They can finish it in those two days or they can stretch it out over six months whenever it works for them. So it's going to be online from the comfort of their home, no cost to travel. They will pay $195 for their initial certification. For those of you that are already NCs, it's $99 to recertify. And both people, the, the new NC trainings, and the recertifications will still get access to the 80 plus hours that we already have in our learning management system. This is just the separate certification that you'll be able to do online. So that always leads to the question, what about HPs? Remember HPs do not have to, they're not required to take a training, but HPs also get access to their own learning management system as well, where they can get additional information. So I'm super excited about this. Um, it's kind of bittersweet for me because I love being together with you in person. I love in-person NC trainings and I know how powerful they are, but I also know that it makes it difficult for people to travel to them all the time and having it on a set weekend, there's always scheduling conflicts. Even when we did them online and we gave you a two week replay, there's people like, I had to work, I couldn't do it. So this is now completely on your schedule. Um, and so look for that by the end of this month, because it's it's so close to be getting done. Uh, Leslie, we still will be getting together somehow. That somehow is. Um, in the past, we've done Nutrimetrics conventions as a one-day event at the end of an NC training. Um, now we're going to move that to be the Friday of product symposium, because a lot of our NCs and HPs already go to product symposium or want to go to product symposium. And so if people do want to get together, uh, you don't have to, it's not required. The Friday of product symposium, because product, product symposium doesn't start till Friday evening. The Friday day of product symposium, we'll have our Nutrimetrics annual convention where we can all get together and you know be in person together if you want to. Um, but it's not required to be in person. Everybody will have access to on-demand demand for NC training or recertification training. I do want to point out, though, there are some of you who have not been to an NC training since 2015, 2014. You let your status lapse for a while. That's totally okay. You're just going to start with the new one as if it's, it's as, as if it's your first time to bring you up to speed. Um, but if you've been trained post-2020, you'll do the recertification course. Um, Barb asked the question, will we still have Nutrimetrics 101s, 201s? Yes, we will still do those. I'm going to schedule one for April. Um, and what we're going to do with those is the idea between the 101, 201, they'll still be online. People can do them in person if they want to do them in person. But the idea behind them 
is to give people a taste test at low cost. It's only 30 bucks to attend both the 101, 201. They get six hours of training. They test the waters. They see if they like it. Um, that way they know whether they want to invest in the 195 to get fully certified. So super excited about that. Hope you are too. Um, speaking of HP training, we do have a health professional summit coming up next Thursday. It's going to be on sleep. Um, it's going to be Dr. Mason. I'll be on it as well. It's going to be Heidi, Dr. Tamara. We're going to be talking about the benefits of sleep. Now, this is a health practitioner only summit, uh, but it is open to guests. If they are guests, then they just need to send in a copy of their license because it's very clinical in nature. We need to make sure that we're not teaching non-health professionals how to practice medicine. So if you have a guest that wants to attend, just send an email to Nutrimetrics at Nutrimetrics.com with their license and they'll be able to register. And to, to wrap up, I want to share with you the close. You know, for those of you that have been to an event before, um, JR's close was always one of the, the most pivotal parts of the entire weekend where he would kind of go through and wrap up all of his themes. Uh, Lauren Ridinger, I have to say, I've always respected and loved Lauren, but for her to be able to get up while well, she's still grieving. I mean, Jair's only been gone six months. They were completely inseparable for 36 years. I, I was fortunate enough to be able to spend a lot of time at, at home with Jr. and Lauren for four years. I spent one week a month at their house um, I was very, very much able to witness firsthand how in love these two people were with each other and how, what a special relationship they had. So for her to be able to get up at this event at all and be at the first event without him and to hold it together and be strong. I mean, it just blows everybody's excuses out of the water because she, she was amazing and her clothes was so powerful because she did everything that he taught her. He, he, she was a perfect duplication of JR's clothes, but she put her own spin on it. One of my favorite things that she did though, is she shared, and she found as she was going through his stuff, um, one of his original goal lists. And thinking back, for those of you that don't, don't know JR and Lauren, um, they started the company in 1992 and they started really with nothing from a tiny townhouse in Greensboro, North Carolina, where the, the warehouse was their garage. And they started out of their home as a true home-based business. And, and he would tell stories about how there were Christmases where there were no presents because they didn't have enough money for him to buy presents. And they ate, you know, their big night out was Wendy, uh, Wendy's taco bar or Wendy's chili bar, whatever it was. And um, anyways, when they wrote some of these goals out, you know, $1 million net worth way surpassed many, 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 many years ago. A second home, they now have like nine. Their yacht was a 40 foot boat. Uh, they now have, you know, they've had 175 foot yacht. Um, the Mercedes, the tennis court, the motor, co motor coach, office complex. She was hilarious talking about, they, they crossed the Learjet off the list because they knew that Mark actually put it on his. So they were like, we'll just use his, yeah, his plane when he gets, <laughs> when he gets his and for now we'll charter them. But uh, they had such a magical love story and she did share it all from the heart, just poured out of her and to be able to see what they've been able to create over the last 30 years and the blueprint that they created to do it so that everybody else could follow in the footsteps was just so powerful. And JR was on stage with her the entire time and she would turn around and talk to him as if he was right there because he was. Um, and it was a very emotional and moving clothes. And I, I, I think, I can't promise, I think you're going to be able to get access um, to that. But JR's whole thing was every, every single one of his presentations, he would talk about time and he would talk about, you know, we don't have any control over where, when we're born. We don't have any control when we leave this earth. What we can control is the dash in the middle. And I truly feel like they gave us so many tools this weekend uh, this past weekend to be able to create exactly what we want in our dash. And we just need to decide to do it. We just need to decide, are we going to go all in and live our dash? And what is that going to look like? And so they gave us some challenges we have the retail challenge. We have the live your dash challenge. I'm going to encourage you each to go for that. We also have the division challenges. I just want to take a second and recognize everybody from all divisions. These people worked really hard uh, to be able to achieve challenges. And the reason why we go for challenges is they give us a path to run on. They give us tasks to accomplish over a six month period, not just so we can be recognized, but so we can inspire others and show other people that when you follow the steps, it helps you 
grow your business. So if, if you recognize any of these faces and names on here, just big congratulations to all the Chairman's Challenge winners, TLS Challenge winners, Motives Challenge winners, Lumiere Challenge winners, uh, Web Solutions, Shop Financial, and Nutrimetrics Challenge winners. All these people work really hard. And the biggest reward for them is their business grows as a result of it. But I encourage you to print out the challenges, get your tickets to ICON, I hope you enjoyed this. I went a little bit over. It's, it's so hard to try to condense three super impactful jam-packed days into one hour. Um, but hopefully this gives you some ideas of what you want to learn more about. Uh, go back to that to-do list that I gave you and um, make sure you reach out to your senior partners and say, I'm all in. I'm all in. That's one of the hashtags that, that we use for the weekend. Hashtag I'm all in. I'm ready to live my dash. I'm ready to go after my goals. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get there. And I'm going to use the tools that the company provides to, to help us get there. So hopefully this was helpful for you. I thank you guys for spending uh, the evening with me. I know you didn't have to do that. There were other things you could have done. I'm also going to encourage you to listen to all the other recaps because I know Dr. Tamara is doing one. Jason Pellin's doing one. Lisa did one last night. Uh, there's a, We all took different things away from the event. We all took different... Uh, pictures to share. We all took different things that, that we loved and we wanted to be able to share them with you. But I hope this was helpful. I thank you for joining me. Uh, I'll post this link in the Nutrimetrics Facebook group as well as on my page for the recap. And I will see you guys on the next event and uh, have a great evening. Thank you for joining me. Bye.